Good morning and assalamu alaikum. Hi, it's Asha, your ICT teacher, and today we will do a ICT class, and I will teach you a lesson of ICT from class eight. Okay, so it's your teacher, this is Shanas Parvin, nickname Asha, and I'm from sector eleven. I take science and ICT of class eight. Now. Our today's lesson, our today's lesson is of from chapter three, and that is uh, the title of the chapter is safe and ethical use of ICT, and you can see this is what this is virus our now this situation because of this virus we are in a severe situation. So what is the name of the virus? You all know coronavirus, right? So it is a virus or a germ in our real life like that virtual life in case of computer there is also virus that is computer virus so we will learn all about computer virus today so hope you will enjoy the class keep watching and one thing you must listen the full lesson carefully write all the topics all the things what i have discussed and what is written in the slides okay so proceed for the class so my dear students as i said computer virus what is it first of all you learn from previous lesson that is malicious software is it malicious software and malware you have learned and over there you have learned that malware is a program computer program that is coded or written and that computer program actually very harmful for other software okay that is also software but that is harmful software and that harms other software address with the softwares and sometime breaks in a devastating way fine now see what is computer virus computer virus is actually one type of malware malwares you know malwares are how many types yes my dear students malwares are three types that is computer virus Computer worm and Trojan horse is it? So virus is one type of computer virus is one type of malware. So what is the speciality? Why it is called malware? Why it is malware? Why it is called computer virus? As you know in real life, the virus germ virus have the characteristics to what it called multiply itself. Is it? That means the when it get into your in the our body. That time, um, suppose the jam was one, it multiplies, it becomes two, two to four, four to eight, eight to sixteen, like this. Okay, so here also the computer virus, its characteristics is also like this. It multiplied itself, and also it transmit from one computer to another, like our real life jam computer and real life virus, jam virus. That is also contagious. Contagious means um, I want to tell that uh, it uh, attack one person, then one person, then another person. As you know, and now in this situation, coronavirus, how it works? Like if you, uh, if I am at uh, attacked, may Allah forgive me. <laughs> if I am attacked by a coronavirus, that time what will happen? If I didn't wash my hand properly, then if anyone shake my hand. He or she, yes, he or she also attacked by or affected by this virus. Is it so? The virus, computer virus, is also like that. That means when you are just sharing any data by any device like pen drive or like CD, DVD, or okay, pen drive, CD, DVD. Or hard disk drive. That time, by these devices, it can go from or it can transmit from one computer to another computer. Okay. So, so what is computer virus? Computer virus is a kind of malicious software which can be multiplied and transmitted from one computer to another. Okay. So what we learn today? We learn about computer virus, the history of computer virus, and the type and the way 
how we can get rid of this that means the malware uh, okay so what is computer virus a type of malicious software and then history we will learn the history what is the history first computer virus what was the first computer virus and obviously the history begins from something and it proceed proceed on proceed on proceed on okay and then how to get it off we will learn that it get it off by following two way okay now see characteristics of computer virus you already got two characteristics what is it it can multiply itself and it can transmit is it now see what is it uh, a kind of malicious software it serves replicating program as it multiply it can produce the same as it is another one that mean like me you, you you observe me this me i can become double Th that one will be same like my twine okay so here also it can self replicate it can create its twine okay and in this way um, it can multiply itself and produce increase the number and then it can transmit from one computer to another and multiply itself so in these four uh, characteristics you must know okay then next one function function means how how we will understand as it is uh, in all about in virtual cases and it at a good um, ict oriented device it can be your laptop it can be your desktop it can be your smartphone also okay so how we how will you understand that your computer your um, desktop or your smartphone is attacked by malware how how will you understand so there are some symptoms that mean when you feel uh, sick that time there are some symptoms suppose you have fever what what is the symptom yes your temperature increases like that when any computer virus is uh, attacked it attack any computer that time it reduces the speed of os we know what is os operating system right so it reduces the speed of os then hangings hanging mean you just start to open your computer start your computer that time it's showing starting it's loading 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 sometime it become freeze that mean the image it becomes still it will become still it will not whatever the button you press whatever the button you press it will not gonna change it will remain freeze like it is then suddenly it will reboot suddenly your desktop your laptop operating system will reboot okay then by some other activities it will draw your attention like it will create shortcuts or it will create any other type um, files and by those file it will try to attack you okay no i have written a red color cih cih is actually a virus computer virus and this cih virus was actually um invented or produced or this uh, um, written by a very young kid at your age 14 14 or 15 uh 14 maybe his his uh chen ying hua or how whatever you can tell chen in how that's why by his name the first letters it become c i h virus or it's and the name is general virus or specifier actually these virus every years 26 april attack the hard disks and form it the hard disks now it becomes inactive um, the programmers work on it and they fix so we'll go for the next one the history of virus okay here see uh, the very beginning um, how it was actually focused first of all uh, any anything comes to our focus isn't it like someone dancing you are talking with someone is just someone dancing beside you yeah by dancing the person trying to focus you is it that mean you give a focus on her or him so in that case uh, what happened the program computer virus that started self replicate that mean when it is produced 
mild characteristics it is focused by scientists that is john von neumann okay so first of all he focused on these virus and later on after a few years after few years uh, later scientist fedig b kohan that person fedig b kohan he has named that self replicating program as computer virus okay so when the first uh, computer program invented the first computer virus program was invented in 1970s 1971 actually so the name of first computer virus is creeper and that was invented by bob thomas and you know that time the very beginning of uh, internet that is arpanet was that time and arpanet is the first internet uh, connection worldwide okay www worldwide would have invented that time so that time the computer virus keeper was invented and to dissolve this computer virus there was a antivirus its name is reaper i should mention the name here but i didn't okay so you will check the book ha huh? next one 1982 there is another virus il cloner and the creator was rich spenta he was also making fun okay and by fun he made this computer virus and that computer virus spread actually with the floppy disk and it was uh, created in united states okay next one 1986 another computer virus named brain and that was produced by two pakistani brother and it is produced in lahore so this is the beginning okay and now there are huge computer virus there are huge computer virus if you see there are different name some examples you see brain vienna jerusalem ping pong michael angelo dark avenger cih anakunikova so funny thing you can uh, did you observe one funny thing that vienna jerusalem jerusalem is the name of a place isn't it uh, a very historical place uh, or a religious place where all type of all type means um, for muslims for Uh, Christians for Yehudis, okay, all they have Islamic, um, what it called, uh, Islamic pilgrims over there. Okay, so Jerusalem ping pong is the name of a game. Michelangelo, you know Michelangelo is um, a famous artist. Then Dark Avenger, it is also a game. C I H already you have know. Anna Kunikova, she is, uh, yeah, you can tell she is a model, but. she is model of table lawn tennis you maybe if some of you know or maybe most of you know what is lawn tennis that in badminton okay so he is a, a model at the same time he is a player then code red worm nim da nimba is also a game da pro zwa so uh, to actually virus try to seek attention okay he try to um take your attention and that's why it attaches itself by these popular things popular names popular images popular persons images popular games images okay so must keep in mind now now types of computer virus there are two types of computer virus okay one is resident and another one is non resident so which one is resident which one uh, actually uh, attack become active and take the permanent uh, place over there it become active and take the permanent place with the file that is resident and which one remains which one attack the file and then left the control on the file and it becomes inactive that is non resident virus okay so based on the nature actually it is divided into these two types you must keep in mind one left the control over the file and the other doesn't another just remain active and take the permanent shelter over there so th- this is are the two type of computer virus so how to get rid of computer virus or malware other malware the users can get rid of malware by using a special kind of software that is anti malware or anti virus or anti malware software there are huge type of anti malware anti virus software we will see after a few minute before that i want to discuss that 
how the software actually works. The software works by, in two ways, by pattern of the computer virus and by examining the nature of the soft, all, of all software. Okay, so pattern means every virus have a pattern. Every virus have a specific pattern and um, in antivirus software those patterns are saved. So while you um, install any or activate any antivirus software in your computer, that time what is happening? the antivirus software is actually checking the pattern of the software what is remaining in your computer when any pattern matches that time they just uh, capture it and sometimes they deactivate or sometimes they damage the virus and by this they take action and in other case by examining the nature of all the software how like the antivirus software is uh, working just taking um, examining all the software's nature how it behaves how it um, executes okay so in any case if they think that any software nature is not safe in it that means any software's nature or any software's um, characteristics is not saved in the antivirus software then it thinks it, uh, it is a it is a antivirus it is a computer virus okay sometimes maybe you have observed that that when you want to install any program that time your antivirus software is not allowing you to install that software you have observed isn't it so that is the fact because that software's um, nature is not known to it that's why the antivirus software program thinks that this is a malware okay a computer virus so in this way they are working so how the anti-malware works by pattern and by examining the nature so pattern mostly pattern uh, the way of pattern actually accepted by all as it is uh, more easy comfortable to use so what are the examples of anti-malware there are lots of examples in your book also there is panda mm, in your book there is panda mcafee in your book there is kaspersky norton avast so avz okay so norton avast avz kaspersky panda mcafee these are in your book except that there is avira bulgard okay webroot p if secure these are actually the icon of all those antivirus programs so by this icon i i hope you can easily understand there is e s e t node 32 okay and g data then viper okay so all these name you must keep in mind and learn hmm. so what are the related question you must write in your class of copy what is computer virus? What are the function of computer virus? So, what is computer virus? Obviously, a mal malicious program that can multiply itself, that can transmit from one computer to another and replicate itself. Very good. Functions, then uh, natural working, how many types of it is? Two, one is, uh, one is resident and another one is non-resident. Then you will write the history, obviously. Then what is called anti-malware and how does it work? Explain. Now, tell me, what is computer virus? I have already told. Is it? Then function. What is the function of computer virus? Yes, it uh, reboot your computer, hang your computer, freezing your computer. Okay, and these are the symptoms. How many types of, what is the first invented or created computer virus? Creeper. Very good. How many types of computer virus? Two. Resident and? non resident so example of some computer virus we have seen that is brain vienna jerusalem ping pong michelangelo yes that was the anna kunikova you must see the image of her google okay <laughs> right some example of antivirus program just before we learn what are what are those yeah what are those those are panda Kaspersky, Nimda, etc. Okay, that's all for today, my dear students. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, at the very beginning also, I could not tell. 
I should tell. Now I'm telling that you must stay home. Hmm? Listen to your parents. Listen to your grandparents. And listen to your teachers. Don't ever argue your, with your parents. Okay. They are your best friend. You must know that. Maybe you are thinking uh, that whatever you do, your parents think that you are wrong. But actually not that, not like that. Okay. You must understand what they what is their point of view why they are telling that you this attitude that attitude is wrong hmm? so they are your best friend you must cooperate your best friend in your life almighty has given and you must nurse nursery it okay and obviously um, of your teachers your teachers are the second best friend thank you my dear students thank you all hope you all will stay at home and enjoy the class and enjoy other classes and continue your learning of lessons. Thank you all.